Here is a walkthrough of the 20 ounce stainless steel glitter hog tumbler. Let me just pull up my layers palette here. Um, just like my other stainless steel uh, mock-up that's in the shop right now, this has really similar layers in it. So I'm going to just walk through each of them with you. And we'll start with this kind of aqua teal background so you can see things a little bit more easily. Again, you could always just put it on white as well. So all the parts that are included here. We have the tumbler. Let's see if we take the, turn off the leaning lid. We have a couple shadow options. There's one with the shadow where it's more on the right and one where it's more on the left. I don't know if you can see that on the green background. So let's just keep a white background. Um, there is an option to add a leaning lid on the side. If you do that, you should probably turn off the lid that's attached to the top of the tumbler. And there's a layer for that as well, which is inside this tumbler folder. It says top lid right here. So you can turn that off if this is a layout that you wanted. Alrighty, and then we have the optional stainless steel top. You can turn that on and off. You can turn on the bottom stainless steel. Turn that off. There's the smart object on the front. Which is a little easier to see if I turn off the lid. All you have to do is to edit that is double click and open it up in a new window and make some edits to it and save and go back and they will be updated. And then let's look at Okay, so if we were going to put this on a pretty background, it would look something like this. This is from my neutral backgrounds um, that I sell on my shop. I also have a background scene creator, so you can make your own. But inside the Tumblr folder is where you'll find the majority of the layers. I have a couple versions of the Tumblr here called dramatic and standard and if you're just I just wanted to give you some options I noticed that with some colors and with the shine boost on or off some things looked better with just the standard on others looked better with dramatic and yet others looked better with both if you have both on it just gets a lot darker so I wanted to give you options but you could totally just leave these two layers on at all times and that would be completely fine let's turn off the leaning lid and turn the top lid back on for a sec. So another thing that you can do here is you can turn on the glitter layer. So that's pretty cool. All you have to do is get to this glitter overlay layer and turn it on or off depending on what you sell. And then I have some pre-done gradients in here to represent different color options. So the bottom one says color options three color because it is a gradient if you double click on it it'll open this, this gradient fill box and inside of there you can see another gradient box If you click on that you can see I have three colors here I have this sort of teal and then I have a fuchsia color in the middle and then a purple and you can always alter these by clicking on the little stops at the bottom and opening up the color picker by clicking where it says color and then choosing another color so that's super fun to do that's if you have a three color gradient there's also a two color one. There's a single color. I also put in a pre-done gold one, which looks pretty cool when you have glitter on it, I have to say. <laughs> and then a stainless one. If you use the stainless one, then you should turn off the optional stainless steel base and optional stainless steel top because those are much whiter of a stainless steel than the color that I have here. But you can't turn it off completely because it's just white underneath. So if you wanted to modify <clears throat> the way this stainless steel color looks, you could just open it up in here and play with the grays that are inside the gradient editor. You're welcome to play with that. And also the shine boost at the very top. If you turn that off, things that are a little bit more dull, um, you that might be useful in some occasions where you're trying to make things a little bit more visible. but for the most part, I think Shine Boost is best left on. But there you go. It's it's very easy to use. Everything is movable. Um, if you wanted to scoot all this stuff around, I would say it might be easy for you if you put them all in a folder. So if you click 
and then shift click to select a bunch of layers at once. You could um, put those into a folder if you wanted by hitting command G and it says group and now you have your all your tumblr stuff in one folder so it's easier to drag around and again you can swap in a new background you can change the background color it's completely editable and movable and super easy and then also along with this file I've included uh, the gold glitter version and just the plain uh, version of the whole tumbler uh, as PNG files and also the lid by itself and the shadow by itself so that you have a lot of options if you wanted to take this into silhouette and make your mock-ups in there. So this is a, just a huge file, um, a folder just full of goodies where you have, if you use Photoshop, you will super enjoy using all of the options in here. If you don't use Photoshop, you have a ton of PNG files that you can choose from to pull into silhouette. And I do only save it in one color with the glitter and the ping version because you can colorize that in silhouette. So there you go. Um, I'll be making a video about the 30 ounce too once I wrap up the finishing touches on that one. But I'm really excited to get this one live. I know a lot of you have been waiting for it.